What's going on guys? Tactical Bacon here and welcome to another episode of Arma 3 Breaking Point Season 3 Episode 2. Uh, so real quick, I'm just going to go ahead and get all this intro crap out of the way. This is actually going to be one of the last videos of the year. I do have another video that I'm very excited to show you guys, but that's not going to be uploaded till Sunday. Uh, but this is the second to last video of the year and basically... I mean, there's going to be a lot of holiday shit that I'm going to have to get into, so I'm really not even going to have enough time to play video games, let alone edit anything together and or put anything on YouTube. So, in the meantime, you know, I'm going to be going out to visit family and stuff like that, and I hope you guys are also going to be doing the same thing, whether you're going to be visiting family or just spending time with your family uh, for the holidays, whatever holiday you happen to celebrate. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what's going to be going on for the rest of the year. We got this video, we got one more video that I'm very excited to bring you guys, and hopefully it's going to be starting off a lot of new Arma 3 stuff in the next year. Uh, we're going to be fin finishing up Daisy, uh, Vanilla, and all that kind of stuff, and yeah, it's going to be great. So without further ado, I hope you guys enjoy today's video. The fuck is this thing up here? Alright. I mean, obviously, okay, this is Clen, but I am not sure what's going on up here. I mean, this is clearly a base, or not not a base, but a, uh, like, like a prison. But, uh, I'm not sure where the fucking entrance is. I wonder if loot spawns in these towers. I'm not exactly sure. Definitely gonna come up here and, uh, check out the area. I did manage to get a few supplies down there in uh, Berezino and everything, but I don't know. I mean, I haven't really gotten anything too great. That's kind of why I'm headed up to Northeast Airfield right now. Uh, I might be able to find something pretty decent in this prison. I mean, I'm still hoping to kind of come across a vehicle. That's one thing that I have not done in Breaking Point, come across a vehicle that works. So, maybe in here. Let's see. Also, another thing I'm kind of worried about is another player being around here. And I only say kind of worried about because, I mean, I really don't have that great of gear on me right now. So, not really that big of a deal. That town down there is lit up fairly well. So, Also, uh, let me know if this, like, because it's really not dark to me right now in this video game. But I know it is nighttime in the video game. So, if it's... Like, like if it, if the, the uh, image does come through a little too dark, definitely let me know in the comments section because uh, I mean, I'm going to try to tinker around with the brightness and everything and editing and all that kind of stuff. Oh, I didn't think I'd make it through that door there. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to try to tinker around with the uh, brightness and all that kind of stuff when I take this video into the editor, obviously. But uh, I think it looks fairly decent right now as is. But I mean, we got some some buildings that look like you can go into them. I've never seen these buildings before, so... Okay, there's nothing worth a shit in there. Uh, but these are kind of barracks buildings in a way, so I guess these might be worth checking out. Nothing there. Nothing in this hallway. Do these doors open? No. Okay. I don't know, I, I know that in Daisy Standalone, whenever you come across a building like this, the uh, doors in the hallways open, but I didn't know if uh, they had those buildings on here or not. I don't think they do. There's probably nothing worth a shit in there. It doesn't look like it, so I'm not even going to bother. What about these tents? There's got to be something in these tents, right? Wow, okay, so a big waste of fucking time. I'm not even going to attempt to go, go up into those guard towers now because I'm afraid that it's just going to be an even bigger waste of my time and I'm probably going to end up getting shot if I do try to climb those things. So I'm just going to say fuck it and I'm going to leave this awesome prison building. Uh, I mean, maybe if, if one of you guys watching the video right now have ever been in here and found some pretty good loot, definitely let me know if this is a place worth checking out. I mean, it definitely looks good. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how much of this main building right here I can go into. It doesn't look like you can go into any of these doors, so... I don't know. 
I mean, it's definitely a cool looking place, but I mean, if you don't have any really good gear to look forward to in here, then it's not really worth a shit, is it? I mean, you could probably come up here and get some good PvP, I guess. I don't know. Um, but I mean, I guess we'll just go ahead and work our way over to northeast. I mean, it's just uh, past that town right over there, so yeah, it's just right there. You can see the hangars from here. And there's a tower over there as well. Hmm. Alright, so it looks like we've got some custom stuff over here. Um, I'm not really too far onto the airfield right now, but this definitely looks like some, uh, some custom stuff that was added to the map. So I'm going to come over here and check out this whole area. Uh, I'm really hoping for maybe like, I don't know, maybe like an like an M4, an LMG or something. I mean, I've pretty much dealt with these one-shot rifles the entire time I've played Breaking Point, and it would be nice to kind of have something with a little bit more firepower behind it. Um, also, I'm guessing since this is custom, and oh, those two hangers over there are definitely not from Chinaris. I think those are from Namalsk, actually. Huh. But yeah, I mean, any time you put like a custom area down, especially around an airfield, there's bound to be some players around here somewhere. So I definitely want to be careful and not just run around like a chicken with his head cut off looking for loot because it's a good way to it's a good way to end up dead. So um, I see these factories normally spawn like big dumpsters and stuff like that. There'll be like uh, industrial stuff in there, vehicle parts and whatnot, but I'm not really looking for any of that kind of stuff right now. I mean, what the fuck am I going to do with an alarm clock? I don't need a fucking alarm clock in this game. I mean, I'm sure that there's some use for it or else it wouldn't be in the game. I don't think they would just put random bullshit in here just for the hell of it. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, see, I mean, there's really not even anything in this hangar. This little warehouse area. Yeah, I'm not seeing jack shit over here. And it's probably way too dark to put in the video, so... <laughs> yeah, I mean, there, there's like a dumpster in there, but I mean... There's a zombie. Uh, I don't know, every time I've ever been into one of these buildings, it seems like the rooms have pretty much been empty the entire time, so... I don't know if this building's even worth checking out. I mean, okay, I'm, I'm gonna be straight up honest with you guys. My overall impressions of Breaking Point on Chinaris so far are not that great. Um, I do realize that, you know, they, they've tried to add as much as they can, I guess, as far as, like, buildings that you can go into and stuff like that, and I know that there are already a few, uh, preset buildings in the Chinaris map that was ported over from Arma 2 for Arma 3, which is what this is. Um, I know that there are already some buildings that you can go into. Ooh, a crate. But, um, I just don't know if it's, if it's really worth continuing to play on Chinaris. I mean, I don't know. I mean, you, you guys let me know in the comments section down below. I mean, Definitely let me know if you guys want to see me keep playing Chinaris or you guys want to see me switch it up. I know that, uh, I think I saw, you know, I think it was European server. What the fuck was this? Oh, okay. Some medical supplies. But yeah, I think I seen an, uh, like, like a European server that had the Namalsk map on it. That's probably ported over from Arma 2, and it's probably not going to be good as far as, like, Okay, medical crate here. With painkillers, and that's it. But, I mean, it's probably not going to be as good as, like, uh, a, a map where you could go into all the buildings and stuff like that. Uh, New Haven was really good because uh, a majority of the buildings you could go into. Um, Esker as well. Uh, obviously, Altus and Stratus, but people normally don't play on Altus and Stratus that much anymore anyways, so it's... I don't know. Um, but we finally found some... Uh, some basic, uh, looks like we got an AK, uh, M16, uh, I don't know if I want to keep this, the iron sights kind of look like shit on it, um, 
might just take this because the iron sides will probably look better. Yeah, that's that's a little bit better than what we were dealing with. Um, definitely take some of the ammo for it. We don't want to run away with a gun and not have any ammo. But uh. <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, like, like I was saying, I'm not really that impressed with the Chinaris map on Breaking Point. I mean, I was aware ahead of time that it was just the, the Arma 2 map um, ported over into Arma 3 and just, you know, retextured with Arma 3 graphics and everything. And I mean, I also kind of at the same time assumed that, you know, we would see a few custom spots on the map with quite a few buildings that you could enter. But I just don't think it's going to be enough to make me play here very long. But, um, yeah, I mean, I guess I'll just keep on looting this area, and we'll, we'll see if we can come across, uh, some better loot here. I mean, it would be nice to find a, uh, a bigger, higher capacity vest, um, it would be nice to find a bigger backpack, uh, I've never found a, uh, like a carry-all backpack or anything when I've been playing Breaking Point, um, I, honestly, I've never really found too many great guns while pr uh, playing Breaking Point either, so I'm, I don't know. Uh, but this is definitely a new building that I've never seen before in Arma. Um, not exactly sure how glitchy it may or may not be. Um, there are some stairs I really don't feel like searching through a building that probably doesn't have any loot in it, so I'm just going to say fuck that. Um, I, I don't know, man. I mean, I'm definitely going to be working my way around the map before I totally give up on it. I don't know if that's a box with gear in it or just a random box that just spawns up there. I mean, I'm definitely going to come down here to the ATC, check out the hangars. Uh, normally industrial stuff spawns in the hangars on the Breaking Point mod. Um, so really nothing too exciting there. There's the ATC, there's another one of those, uh, uh, newer Arma 3 barracks buildings. Of course, there are these two hangars over here. I'm pretty sure that they are from the, the Namalsk map, but I don't really think they're going to be worth checking out for gear or anything like that, so... I don't know. Yeah, I mean, there's the little dumpster things right there, and... Yeah, just not worth checking out. Not not for me, really, because, I mean, like I said, I don't need any industrial stuff. I don't need any building supplies. I don't need vehicle parts. I mean, yeah. But, um, also, that also reminds me, um, there are going to be a lot more co-op things going on uh, on my channel starting next year. Uh, we're going to be doing some co-op and Breaking Point. We're going to be doing some co-op and... Daisy Vanilla, and, you know, we're going to keep up our Daisy Overpox stuff, and, you know, we're going to be adding some new some new video gameplay to the channel, some old stuff to the channel. So, holy fuck, this is bright. Alright, we do have a weapons crate, but nothing worth a shit. Nothing worth taking. Uh, but yeah, you you guys are definitely going to be seeing more co-op stuff, so it's not just me running my mouth the entire time about, Oh, I don't like this fucking map, or oh, there's not enough places to loot, so... Yeah, but um, I am probably going to go ahead and cut this video short. Uh, it, it's starting to get a little bit darker, so... I'm not exactly sure how much of this stuff I am going to be able to use in the final product, but yeah. Um, if I do not talk to you guys before then Merry Christmas or Kwanzaa or you know, Happy Kwanzaa or Happy Hanukkah or whatever the hell it is you celebrate Happy Holidays ladies and gentlemen from Tactical Bacon your friend and mine <laughs>